So I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, I believed in Santa Claus. In fact, I remember in kindergarten, as a class, we got to write these special letters to Santa explaining what we wanted for Christmas. We were told to take those letters home, and then have our parents send them to Santa Claus himself. The thing is, I didn't stop there. I not only wanted to send Santa my Christmas list, I wanted to know all about Santa. So I sent him a series of letters asking him things like, What do reindeers eat in the North Pole? What do you do when it's not Christmas? How long have you and Mrs. Claus been together? Why are you so fat? Obviously I wasn't mailing in these letters myself. I gave each letter to my mom with special instructions to send to the North Pole ASAP. I even spent the extra hour to color the envelopes because I figured that Santa got so much mail from all the other kids around the world that mine would stick out and so he'd read them first. I remember being so excited when I first started sending Santa my letters. Every day I would get out of kindergarten and I would ask my mom if Santa replied to any of my letters yet. And she would say, not yet. Days turned into weeks. Weeks turned into what felt like months. Although actually now that I think about it, it was probably only a couple days, but whatever. When you're a little kid, it feels like a long time. But anyway, there's no sign of any letters from Santa Claus. And I was getting a little annoyed. I mean, if you could go to every single house, in the middle of the night. I would think two weeks is enough time to reply to my letter. Finally, I decided I would write him a letter, asking him if he was getting my letters. Kindergarten logic. I remember I was searching for a pen when I opened a drawer in the kitchen and I found something horrible. All of my letters, all of them, were sitting in the drawer. <laughs> I didn't have a very extensive vocabulary as a child, but if I did, I imagine I probably would have said something along the lines of WHAT THE FUCK IS THIS?! To make matters worse, the envelopes were opened! I came to the conclusion that my own mother was trying to sabotage my communication with Santa Claus for whatever treacherous reason. And as I confronted her with blood boiling and tears in my eyes, she sat me down and explain to me, Honey, Santa isn't real. And then I remember thinking, well, Who the hell have I been writing to for the last month? It was at that very innocent moment of my childhood that I realized, my life up to this point is a lie. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you can relate, and leave a comment down below of a time where you realized your entire life was a lie.